Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another plant video. Today I'm going to be transferring some plants that I have that are struggling into LECA. But before we get into the video, I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am so appreciative to everybody who subscribed to me. I really can't believe that I hit a thousand subscribers. It feels a little unreal and I don't think it's completely hit me yet <laughs> that there are a thousand people watching my videos. This whole plant journey was just started because I was like ridiculously excited about plants and I wanted to share my excitement with people. So I'm just, I'm really happy that you guys are here and watching and you know, sharing a good plant time with me. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I really wanted to say thank you. And I guess I can start repotting as I talk. This is a Monstera Peru that I bought from eBay. This is one of the plants that I mentioned in my last eBay unboxing that I received and decided not to post the video for because it had root rot and it just was a very sad looking plant when I got it. You can see the little black spots and whatnot that was on it when I first got it. And I know that it had root rot, not because of those spots or because of how the leaves looked, it was because it was actually wrapped in, in some sphagnum, I believe. And I took it off and there were like all of the roots were black and squishy and it I had to basically take off like all of the roots. It was only $15, so I should have known, like, it was totally my bad. I shouldn't have bought the plant, knowing how expensive these plants can get. I saw it just as a good deal, and I decided to buy it, and now I'm here trying to save it. So I'm going to be putting it in some LECA. I have some rooting hormone right here that I am going to dab on the ends of the roots, and then I'm going to go through and sort of put it around the node and now I'm going to kind of roll it in it <laughs> and then I'm gonna just tap off the excess. I'm doing LECA because I've heard that LECA is a very good way to be able to look at your roots and not really worrying too much about having to like rinse off all the soil when trying to check it. Oh my gosh I started on this plant and I totally forgot to mention the other plants that I'm going to be transferring. So I'm actually going to be transferring my Monstera Thai Constellation that I bought just because I continue seeing the rot and it's like, I just want it to stop. <laughs> so I actually have already cut off the tip and I'm mad at myself that I did it because I really wanted to show you guys, but the tips of these roots, especially this longest root right here, the tip of it, keep it, it turns black and it gets squishy. So I have to cut it off. So when I first got it, I put it in water for a couple of days per recommendation of the seller. So I did that and you know, it makes sense. The roots are a little dehydrated. You kind of want to put them in some water before make their transition a little easier, I'd say. But in doing that, I started to see some black tips on the roots and I got a little freaked out. So I ended up cutting the tips and putting it in some sphagnum. But what I did wrong, what I did very wrong was I, I just went and grabbed a nursery pot and I stuck it in the nursery pot in some sphagnum. That nursery pot that I had used was a nursery pot that had previously had a plant that died in it. And I didn't realize it until I took it out and realized that the roots had gotten way worse. And it might not seem like it, but there was like, it had gotten progressively more black, even despite me chopping the little black piece off. So that's why I say it's it's pretty much my fault that I am killing this plant. I want there to be more roots sort of like stemming out of the node or, you know, I just want to see a more established plant. And I know that transferring it into LECA would be a good idea just because plants can survive in LECA on their own, you know, or at least that's my understanding. So I'm going to be doing LECA because I did stumble upon Minimalist Kali's semi-hydroponic video. So you should definitely go check her out if you want some more information on hydroponics. But she is 100% the reason why I wanted to do it. And because Leaves and Latte on Instagram, 
I, I feel like I mentioned him in every single video, but he just has some good information. He has some really cool plants. You should definitely go check him out. But he actually posted on his story the other day that he had moved his Thai constellation that had root rot into Lekka. And I was like, oh, well, okay, now I have to do that. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm doing everything. But this is a My Monster Thai constellation. It's still looking pretty decent because I think I've just been trying to save it, you know? But yeah, that's this guy. And then I have this guy that I got from the plant farm that has some tips that are not doing so well. So I actually haven't even looked at the roots on this guy. I don't really know what's going on with it, but I do know that I need to repot it and that I want it to have sort of different mediums that I'm transferring. So this one is soil. My Thai constellation is going from sphagnum to Lekka and my Peru is going from water to Lekka. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say. It kind of took me a long time to get that all out, but let's go ahead and start repotting. So I also want to say, oh my God, I feel like all of this information is too much. <laughs> but I do want to say that I soaked my Lekka for about 24 hours and I rinsed it before soaking it. And I want to mention that minimalist Callie said that she doesn't necessarily do that and she doesn't think that that's 100% necessary but I mean I wanted to do it just because I got lazy and I started soaking it and forgot about it so I don't know <laughs> so now let's finally get into it so I'm just using some like basic nursery pots and I've put rooting hormone on this guy and I'm just going to be putting it in here so the thing that i wanted to mention earlier was that i'm really excited to have a thousand subscribers now but i feel like a lot of people do giveaways around this time i've only had my channel for a few months now and i don't know how or what to give away I don't know how to do a giveaway. I really want to. And I thought that some gift cards would actually be like a good way to go. It's really hard to repot Lekka and talk because I feel like the, the little balls make that noise, like this noise. That's an annoying noise. <laughs> but do you guys think gift cards is a good idea? I feel like I would prefer a gift card than a plant if I won a giveaway, just so that way I could buy my own plants and I could decide on my own. And I also feel like this could possibly be an international giveaway also, just because, you know, I think that Etsy has like an electronic gift card that you can like send by email. So I don't know, I feel like that would be more exciting. I feel like that would be more practical for sure than doing like a plant giveaway, but I, I don't know. I, I feel like it also feels like you know, it's a gift card. <laughs> like, that seems somewhat not coming from the heart, I guess. I don't know how to word that. I know that there's a word for that. But yeah, I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what shops you would want gift cards for if you do want that. I was going to do the giveaway in today's video, but I decided to kind of like put a pause on it just because I want your feedback and I also kind of want somebody to help me because I don't know how to do a giveaway. Like I have no idea how people do it, but yeah, this is going to be my water reservoir. So um, I'm going to probably fill it a couple of inches with water and I'm just going to be doing regular water today. So listen, I know that I have birds. So you guys. <laughs> Oh, he's not gonna stop. Oh my god. Okay, I have to pause this. Another thing that I kind of wanted to touch on in this video because I feel like now there are a lot of people watching is the fact that I have birds, okay? I was talking to my friend about it when I first started my channel and he watched one of my videos. Wow, there they go. Okay. So one day my friend watched one of my videos and he was like, why are you filming near your birds? Like, like, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Like that, that, I feel like that would confuse like a lot of people. And you know, it never really occurred to me that it would be a problem. I just, I personally like sort of background noise. I don't know about you guys. I, and I especially like my bird's noise just because you know, it's not like it's like a garbage truck or an airplane or something. It's 
you know, just like little small cheeks of birds, like you're in nature with me. But I know that now that there are more people watching my channel that might bother some people, let me know if you, if it does kind of bother you. I might do like every other video with my birds in the background or something instead of every single video because I know that they can get annoying. Like, I realize that. But I also realized that some of you guys really like it. And I know that somebody commented on my video the other day that said that, that her mom had birds. And that really just made me so happy. And I think back to that comment all the time. And that's the comment that's made me think like, no, I'm probably not gonna move my birds anytime soon. I really like my birds. And I just want your opinion basically on if you guys are okay with them being there or if you think that maybe I should move them and i was also kind of considering setting up sort of a, another filming space um in my plant room it's my brother's old bedroom it's literally i it's it's not a plant room it still has all his junk in it but <laughs> um but yeah i i'm considering like making another sort of filming space over there and possibly like buying a ring light um, and investing in that and kind of setting up another space to film my videos. So just just let me know if that's a good idea <laughs> because I, I don't know, I'm trying to make my channel better for y'all. But yeah, wow, that was like really easy. It's kind of funny because when I had this guy in Sphagnum, it was so hard to keep it standing up like this. It was so hard, but yeah. Uh, again, I did add some rooting hormone to this guy. I also want to say that I got my Lekka beads from Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below, but I don't know how much I actually recommend this. But I know that in the video that I watched, she said that she bought some of these at Ikea, but the Ikea that's in Houston is pretty far from me, and it kind of sucks to park there all the time. And I just kept forgetting to go and I really wanted to do this and Amazon is amazing So I just bought the cheapest ones Probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just spent a couple extra dollars to buy some other ones But these had good reviews. So that's why I bought these but there's just like a lot of them are broken and like misshapen and I know that when I rinsed it, there was so much dust and there was a lot of like chunks, like little chunks of the balls, which I don't think is like too bad, but it's not super aesthetically pleasing if you guys end up buying this. But yeah, I'm gonna link it down below. And now I'm gonna go and try to rinse off all of this soil and I'll be back. So I am back. Here is the plant without any soil on it. Um, I do believe that this plant has root rot just because whenever I was rinsing them off, it seemed like a lot of the tips would like kind of fluff off. And I, again, wish that I could have showed you guys, but I mean, I don't know if it was just, you know, roots that had some like extra soil on it, but whenever everything was already mostly rinsed off, I would see, I saw those tips and they kind of just like fell off. Yeah, um, but I do know that it's super important to rinse it off as best as you can. I think I took about 15, 20 minutes trying to rinse everything off just now. And I know that it's important because I know that if you leave soil on here, it is more susceptible to root rot. I also wanted to mention, I don't think I mentioned this before, that I actually rinsed these nursery pots with very hot water and then went at it with some isopropyl alcohol. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this in here. I didn't really say much when I was repotting my piece lily, but I think that it's a good idea that I did this just so that you guys can see and that I can sort of test the different mediums into Lekka. But it's also kind of helpful, or at least I would want to say that it's helpful because of the different types of plants that I have here. So the piece lily had a very large root system and it is also a plant that is known to like constant moisture. So I think it'll be really interesting to see how well it does in Lekka. And the Thai constellation that's really struggling is also gonna be really interesting to see. I am definitely gonna do an updates video on these guys in the future. 
Today is June 24th, so this is sort of the start of my LECA journey. I don't really mind soil getting everywhere, but I know that a lot of people think that LECA is super aesthetically pleasing, and in a lot of ways, it's a lot easier. I'm definitely going to be starting small here, only with these three plants. I actually did want to transfer a couple of other plants, but I think for now, this is enough. And also, I've run out of LECA, so I can't exactly do that anymore. But yeah, I do want to note, Total noob here, don't know exactly what I'm doing, but um, today I am just going to be putting them in regular water. I'm not gonna be adding any nutrients to the water. Something that I did want to ask you guys, if you are a semi-hydroponics expert, or if you yourself are doing semi-hydroponics, I've noticed that the nutrients that you're supposed to add to the water each have that like NPK ratio on them. And I believe that the green one has the most concentration of nitrogen, which from what I understand is the most important nutrient for foliage and for root stimulation. And it even says that in the description of the product. And basically my question is, would it be wrong of me to only buy that one and use that like green bottle solely for my plants or is it necessary for me to buy all three because i know that if you buy all three it makes it more balanced but i don't really understand why a plant would need more flowering nutrients if a plant isn't gonna flower for you do you understand what i'm saying i don't know that kind of confused me whenever i saw the package and i know that that package is 33 dollars. yeah that's pretty much a reason why i wanted to get this video out there again i know i'm a total noob i don't 100 percent know what i'm doing so please go ahead and help me out in the comments below if you want to but i think that i rambled a little bit too long in this video so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end it now if you guys want to chat about stuff go ahead and leave it in the comments down below please and if you guys like the video go ahead and hit the like button down below and if you like me and like plant videos go ahead and subscribe if you want to but that's gonna be it for today so i guess i'll see you guys in the next one bye